In other news stories, space scientists have traced a possible sign of life in the atmosphere of our planetary neighbor Venus. Scientists said on Monday that they have detected in the harshly acidic clouds of Venus a gas called phosphine that indicates the presence of microbes in Earth's inhospitable neighbor. Now, no actual life forms have been detected as yet. However, existence of phosphine has triggered a new light of hope among the scientists. Two telescopes located in Hawaii and Chile spotted the chemical of phosphine in the clouds of Venus. This chemical is often associated with life on Earth. On Earth, phosphine gas is only associated with life. It doesn't come from any other planetary process. So we're excited to eventually take the next steps to try to find out whether or not it's actually life on Venus producing this phosphine. The existence of an extraterrestrial life has sparked enough curiosity. However, experts have suggested that life in Venus can be drastically different from that of Earth. Life can only be possible in the clouds where the temperatures are right and not on the surface that is too hot to sustain life. We're talking if they're there, um, I think probably single-celled organisms, but they'd um, probably be pretty different to something on Earth. Um, they might perhaps need to surround themselves by um, some kind of thick shell like sulfur to defend themselves against the actual sulfuric acid. So there might not be something we'd um, recognize very easily. But um, there's some evidence that there are particles that are about a micron, um, a millionth of a meter in size floating around um, in Venus atmosphere. And that is about the size of microbes. So nobody knows exactly what those particles are, but it might tie in with this work um, that other people have done previously. Now, the U.S. Special Envoy to Afghanistan, Zalmay Khalilzad, is scheduled to visit New Delhi and meet India's External Affairs Minister S.J. Shankar today. The visit comes just two days after intra-Afghan talks opened in Qatar. The two men are expected to discuss India's role in the ongoing Afghan peace talks in Doha. Remember, India is a major stakeholder in the region and was also invited to the opening ceremony of the talks. Khalil Zad had arrived in Islamabad on Monday, hoping to convince the Pakistani leadership to play a constructive role in the ongoing Afghan peace talks. Khalil Zad met both the civilian and military leadership in Pakistan and pressed upon the establishment to not play spoiler. The deep state in Pakistan is involved in sponsoring and orchestrating terror attacks across the border. There's fear that this trend will derail the reconciliation process in Afghanistan. Meanwhile, the intra-Afghan talks were off to a rocky start as clashes broke out between the Taliban and Afghan forces nearly hours after the opening ceremony. The government accused the Taliban of attacking its convoy along a highway in Kunduz. In response, the security forces carried out airstrikes in the provinces of Baghlan and Jaozchan. The government now says that Taliban attacks have increased rather than decreased since the talks were announced. Representatives from countries including India, US, Turkey and Pakistan were also present at the opening ceremony. India's presence at the talks has not so gone down Allah well Allah with Pakistan. Securing a ceasefire will be the civilian side's biggest goal, but Taliban is yet to agree on it. The chief negotiator, Abdullah Abdullah, has hinted that the government could release more Taliban fighters in exchange for a ceasefire.